If you're curious about how life was in the past, it's a good idea to poke your nose in a good history book. Well, this is only partly true. Although the experts have already succeeded in deciphering many mysteries from the past, the past still holds some exciting secrets that have always been waiting to be revealed. Even more, some of these mysterious incidents seem so strange that they can't even be classified in a context that's familiar to us. The four events and discoveries that we're going to present to you today have also kept the experts in suspense for several decades. Stay tuned for spooky UFO sightings, inexplicable artifact finds, and bizarre boulders. Before we get started, be sure to hit the like button and ring the notification bell. Also, stick around to hear one of the strangest unsolved mysteries that experts have ever uncovered. The Phaistos Disc is one of the most important artifacts from the Bronze Age. The Phaistos Disc has been presenting experts with insurmountable mysteries ever since it was discovered. In the summer of 1908, a team of archaeologists rediscovered the clay disc in the palace complex of Phaistos in Crete. During the analysis that followed, Luigi Pernier, who headed the excavations at the time, concluded that the object dates from around 1700 BC. Other experts later came to the conclusion that the period of origin is more likely to be classified as the 13th century BC. For other experts, however, it was clear the mysterious disk was not at all an ancient artifact, but a modern forgery. But not only the question of the dating, but also the question of the production and the decryption are still discussed controversially. What is certain is that the Phaistos disc is adorned with countless abstract signs as well as animal, human, and material motifs. But what do these cryptic symbols mean? For what purpose was the Phaistos disc made? A problem that's always arisen with the countless attempts at deciphering and has existed from the outset is that nobody knows which direction the characters are written in. Deciphering the content of the artifact by mere trial and error is simply impossible. As a result, nobody can know which of the proposed decryptions really applies. Some experts interpret the Phaistos disc as an astronomical document. Others think that this is an antique game board. But the variants of a ritual script, a calendar, a star compass, and a religious hymn cannot be ruled out either. One of the biggest problems the researchers face when examining the object lies in the fact that the text contains only 241 characters. Statistical observations can therefore not be carried out. Since no comparable artifact has been tracked down so far, the complication of uniqueness also arises. There are no clues that could provide us with information about the language used or the content. Unless archaeologists find a counterpart to the Phaistos disc, it could remain an unsolved mystery of the past forever. Florence UFO Incident it's October 27, 1954, when thousands of football fans flocked to the Florence Stadium. The local derby between AC Fiorentina and their opponents from Pistoia had been eagerly awaited in the weeks before, so it's all the more astonishing that shortly after the second half kicked off, nobody was interested in what was happening on the green pitch. In fact, the eyes of the spectators and the players were now directed towards the sky. But what was it that had so captivated people back then? An eyewitness later reported an egg-shaped structure that flew leisurely across the pitch. The appearance of the mysterious object reminded another fan of an oversized cigar. While the unknown object hovered over the stadium for around two minutes, sparkling silver particles also fell from the sky. It wasn't long before the general astonishment of the stadium goers turned into a paralyzing shock. None of them had ever seen anything like it before. Particularly mysterious, on this and the following days, there were more of these inexplicable sightings in the region. 
The shiny substance, which fell on the city like rain from a fantasy world, is said to have covered entire streets and buildings. After about an hour, however, the sticky precipitate dissolved into thin air again. A newspaper editor managed to capture one of these bizarre flakes before it disappeared and then placed it in the hands of scientists. Exact analysis showed that it was a cotton-like structure composed of magnesium, boron, silicon, and calcium. Nowadays, however, the substances that fell from the sky can no longer be studied. The material was completely destroyed during the tests of that time. But what was the background to that strange spectacle that caused so many people to be amazed and terrified at the same time? For one camp, one thing is certain to this day. It could have only been the work of extraterrestrials. A little more earthly, but no less controversial, is the approach which seeks the origin of the incident in the realm of the spiders. The substances that fell from the sky are said to have actually been the threads of certain species of spiders. The crawling creatures produce web-like rope structures that serve as a sort of natural airship as they let themselves be carried away by the wind. However, this explanation, which seems quite plausible, comes with two big snags. Firstly, thousands upon thousands of spiders should have been seen at the same time, but no reports can be found in this regard. And secondly, the material composition of the cobwebs simply does not match the laboratory results of the scientists. The spider theory also doesn't provide any information about what the mysterious object above the football stadium was all about. Black Knight The name Black Knight doesn't refer to a fabled knight from the past, but to an object in the Earth's orbit that aliens use to study the human race. At least, that's what many people have become confidently convinced of. Although the corresponding conspiracy theory is widespread, the existence of this alien satellite could never be confirmed. According to the proponents of the exciting stories, this is mainly due to the fact that the U.S. government has always kept the relevant facts and observation results under wraps. If you're wondering what the extraterrestrial spacecraft looks like, you can take a look at a photo taken in December 1998. However, the official site points out that the mysterious structure that we see in the recording is not Black Knight, but just conventional space junk. This may seem like a reasonable explanation. However, this story is in direct contrast to what many people have reported throughout history regarding this so-called satellite. Accordingly, Black Knight is said to have been seen long before the start of terrestrial space travel, so the explanation that this is a space blanket or other forms of debris from a space mission simply doesn't add up. There are also rumors that the alleged satellite regularly emits mysterious radio waves. This is a truly exciting claim, which, however, has not yet been backed up by official data. For the followers of pre-astronautics, however, it's clear that this is actually an extraterrestrial research probe that's taking a close look at our planet and its inhabitants, and not just in more modern years. In fact, Black Knight is said to have been buzzing around our blue home planet for 13,000 years. What do you think of this mysterious object that's always the focus of adventurous theories? Just let us know your thoughts on it in the comments below. Rupkund Lake The Rupkund Lake is a fairly small lake in the middle of the Himalayas. So far, so unspectacular. The horrifying secret that made the waters hit the headlines in the past slumbers at the bottom of the lake. There are actually hundreds of human skeletons here. After the mortal remains were discovered in 1942, they immediately presented the researchers with an almost unsolvable riddle. What circumstances led to the inconspicuous mountain lake turning into a mass grave? A complex study revealed that the bones date back to the 9th century. In the end, the experts believed that they had found the true background to this horrifying find. Accordingly, the later victims were surprised by an extreme hailstorm in which countless tennis ball-sized objects fell from the sky. The problem, later analysis revealed that some of the skeletons date from the 20th century. In addition, the victims apparently came from a wide variety of regions. Two devastating events must have occurred around a thousand years apart. 
killing countless people in the same place. What's especially interesting about this is how they were all found in virtually the exact same location. This has led some people to believe that the people who once lived here must have known about the first mass grave before beginning work on the second one. However, in the years since, the information about either of these two graves has been lost to history. Researchers are hopeful that they'll be able to uncover more information about these graves soon. But for now, they remain unexplained and unsolved. Dighton Rock The Phoenicians, the Vikings, the Portuguese, or the Chinese. To this day, scientific minds still disagree over who left the enigmatic petroglyphs on Dighton Rock. One thing is certain, the massive boulder in the U.S. state of Massachusetts is adorned with many geometric symbols, primitive drawings, and unknown characters. However, one thing is also certain, when and by whom these mysterious symbols were made is completely unknown. In all likelihood, the creator or creators used pointed tools made of stone or metal to immortalize their inscriptions for history. The mystery of Dighton Rock has been troubling mankind for several centuries. According to some records, the item was discovered as early as autumn 1680. The theories about the suspected manufacturers are as numerous as they are controversial. Most researchers think that Dighton Rock is the work of Native Americans. Somewhat more creative minds consider it more likely that the object was edited by a prince from the legendary island kingdom of Atlantis. But is the question about the one creator really correct? In fact, one theory is that the ornaments were not made by just one, but by many different tribes. If you like, the Dighton Rock could have been used as a kind of natural guest book. If an indigenous tribe passed by the impressive object, they left their mark there. In order to protect the mysterious structure from weathering and vandalism, the 40-ton rock was brought to a nearby museum in 1963. Since then, it's attracted many curious tourists from all over the world. Bigfoot Alive most people don't believe that Bigfoot actually exists, but the other side, which is firmly convinced that the huge ape-like creature really exists, has always been confronted with a major problem. There's simply no accepted evidence that the hairy figure actually roams through the forested mountains of North America. However, that didn't stop two daring hikers from specifically searching for Bigfoot in a large wooded area in Ohio in February 2020. If one believes in the authenticity of the resulting recordings, then the excursions of the two men should actually be crowned with success. According to their own statements, the hikers first followed a trail of deer bones before they finally heard strange sounds. After all, the Bigfoot hunters wanted to see the hairy creature with their own eyes and then capture it with their drone camera. While they seem to be an honest group of hunters, we have to also entertain the idea that the supposed evidence they gather could be fake. However, one thing makes their story all the more convincing and exciting. The corresponding forest area in which the recordings were made always makes the headlines when it comes to alleged Bigfoot observations. Over 30 such exciting sightings have been recorded here since the 1980s. Unfortunately, none of these sightings have ever been proven beyond a shadow of a doubt, but that doesn't mean that they're all fake. While there doesn't seem to be too much modern evidence to explain these Bigfoot sightings, it's certainly possible that a strange ape-like creature has evaded human eyes for hundreds of years. After all, stranger things have happened. Enigmatic Solar Object NASA's Parker Solar Probe spacecraft was set to make its way into the history books on April 28, 2021. As the renowned space agency announced in December of the same year, the unmanned spacecraft was the first man-made object to come into close contact with the Sun. In detail, the probe approached our central host star to within 6.5 million kilometers, passing the so-called solar corona. However, a look at the puzzling sightings of the past leads the rank of convinced ufologists to suspect that the Parker Solar Probe was by no means the first unnatural structure in history to come so close to the sun. In fact, in April 2020, a strange triangular object was discovered in the immediate vicinity of the sun. 
particularly puzzling. The structure doesn't seem to move, which means that it is in all probability not a sunspot. While conservative science doesn't yet have an answer as to the origin and true background of the mysterious object, more creative minds are certain. What we're seeing there is the spaceship of an extraterrestrial species. All right, folks, now your opinion matters. What mystery from the past has intrigued you the most? Do you know of any other puzzling incidents or artifacts that still haven't been deciphered? Let us know your thoughts, suggestions, and feedback on today's video in the comments below. Give us a thumbs up and subscribe to stay up to date from now on. Would you like to learn more about the most mysterious finds of all time? Then take a look at the other videos on our channel, which we've linked here for you. Thank you for watching, have a good one, and see you next time.